Hey guys, so we're working on the afternoon milking right now. I'm getting the second group over. And today we actually got something interesting going on. We're demoing a cleaning system on the cows. It's a handheld unit that has three brushes on it. Cleans the cow's teats. It's sort of similar to what robots use to clean cows. So I'll have to show you that once we get in the parlor. But I'm just getting cows over cleaning stalls right now. Well, come on girls. So it's taking a little bit of getting used to for us and for the cows. Definitely got to trim tails if we're going to do this. Yeah. Probably really be good anyway. So this is a setup right here. There's two brushes on top. And then a third brush on the bottom there to get the teat end. So trigger here, if you hold the trigger, it sprays out the tree dip. And then once you let it off, and it just goes into the drying phase. Cows are letting their milk down for the most part. It's a little different for them, but then there's a lot of manure in the parlor today. But milk is still flowing, that's good. We got done with the demo there. So that prep system, it replaces the pre-dipping, stripping, and wiping step. And it's all in one unit. We went and visited a farm that had one, pretty impressed with it. And they brought us the demo today. So we got a chance to actually use it in our barn. They're gonna get us a quote together. We'll see if it's something we think is worth it. The biggest thing with that is it helps make the prepping consistent no matter who's milking and we have over 10 different people that milk every week. There'd be some real value in keeping the process more consistent every time the cows come in the parlor. The simulation is the same. They're gonna let their milk down better. Some people might clean the teats better than others. That system would consistently do a good job. So yeah, I walked over to the house. Wanted to show you guys where we're at. I'm not sure if they're concreting soon. I heard it could be next week. But the roofers were also here yesterday and finished this morning. We got shingles on the roof. Didn't go with the metal roof. I think shingles will do the job. My friend Connor actually did the roofing. It's looking pretty good. It is the next day here. I'm out at the new house. Dad is working at moving this pile of stone. I'm gonna start digging out the water line now. We're ready to stick that through into the basement. So we just gotta dig across there to that spot we had plugged. Then we have to run another line intercepting into that around here and hook up to the line that goes out to the dry cow barn.
it on the line there. It's coming out at a bit of an angle. And now I'm gonna go start digging there. We gotta go around there. Hitting some old towel piping that was going through here. Or whatever this stuff's made out of. We're gonna measure this now so dad can go get some water line. Dug across and found that line. That runs out to the dry cow barn. We got the plug off this end that we had stuck on a couple months ago. Just gonna attach this new line to it. We're just gonna stick it through the hole in the basement wall there, a few feet past. We got the 90 in there, out of the main line. And just have to put a 90 degree elbow at this end. I got the water back on, check for leaks. Good. So now our dry cow barn has water again. I didn't dig this trench that deep because we're gonna be adding some dirt on top. It'll end up being over three feet till we're done. Hey guys, it's the next day here. We got that water line done last night and I wanted to beat the rain. We got a rainy day today. Did not get it backfilled yet. I saw some comments on my last video. People were wondering about the specs of the PC I got. I don't know too much about computers, so I wasn't one to talk about the specs too much, but Intel Core i7, 11700F processor, GeForce RTX 360, 32 gigs of RAM, one terabyte of SSD, two terabytes H -H HDD. Yeah, so. That's the stats for those who want to know. So that's the computer setup. We haven't made any more progress on the planter because we're waiting on those brackets. We're thinking about putting the conceal setup on from Precision Planting, if anyone's familiar with that. It's not the cheapest thing to put on, but different people are saying that it's the best way to go. So I don't know. If we end up going with it, I'll show you guys exactly what that means. People were also asking about the house. They wanted me to show more details of the building process. I have to respect the guys doing the work if they don't want to be filmed the whole time. Kind of trying to stay out of their way i'm also not there all day so it's kind of hard to to film too much you know i could set up a camera but is it going to be a great angle for very long i'm not sure and but right now i'm going to hook up to the cattle trailer one heifer that we want to sell today head back the trailer down to the heifer barn the one we're going to sell is this number 28 right here she'll just go to beef uh, we had tried to breed her the vet checked her and he thought she seemed a little bit off I don't know what the reproductive system or something and we have plenty of heifers in this age group anyway we might as well sell her I'm trying to get her in a headlock because i need to cut that activity monitor off her ear there of course she wants to eat out of the man pass at the end now she's caught she's standing right beside number 53 that one was born 25 calves after her so probably at least two months younger three months younger I don't know if she had some pneumonia when she was younger and didn't eat as much, got on behind. You know, the whole purpose of this barn is to raise future productive dairy animals. And if we're not confident one's gonna end up being a productive animal, she's gotta go. Yeah, someone might buy her and fatten her up. Gonna be a reasonable price for an animal like that. They usually have some decent value, even if they're undersized heifers at the sale barn. She's starting to put a little bit of weight on, so that's a good thing. It's not skinny at all. Doesn't look unhealthy. I just dropped a heifer off at the sale barn. Sorry, I can't really film there. 
but I uh, just run them out and they put some tags on them. Take them into the auction then. I'll get the trailer unhooked and then I'm gonna go get some calf feed at the mill. I have two cows that I wanna dry up this afternoon. The milking has started and I think they're bringing the second group in now. One of them is in the second group. So I'm gonna get this pen ready to sort the cows out. So we start milking the cows right after they have a calf in this pen and we'll breed them while they're in the milking herd. And once they're seven months pregnant, we'll dry them off, give them a two month break before they have another calf and go back in the milking herd. We're gonna dry treat two of them and I like to sort them into a separate pen here so they don't get mixed up and get all these other cows riled up. So just lock this roll door, it's kind of a gate. And put a couple cows in here without a problem. In the last video, we had gotten some of that ground up drywall to bed these pens. It ended up being kind of disappointing. At first it looked good because it was covering up all the mess. It only lasted about 24 hours until it needed more bedding, which is not very good, even if I put quite a bit in. So we're back to the sawdust now. I think it would be a good product maybe if you could mix it with sawdust. We just don't really have enough space to take too many truckloads of stuff at once. I don't know, I like cheap bedding, but it's gotta actually work or else we're not gonna use it. So once I get the cows dried off, I'll move these cows out of the way so I can chase them back into that little pen. So one of them's in the holding area somewhere there, but they had the milker first. So I went over to the mill, picked up a ton of calf feed. I got four bags of salt they'd thrown on top of here. We've been feeding the wet brewers for about two weeks now. And even though it's winter, we're dealing with a little bit of spoilage on top. And we should have been putting some salt on, I guess, just to help preserve a little bit. We've got another load coming tomorrow, so I'm gonna try and throw a bag on right away once it comes. Right, get them to dump it on this side of the bunk. Yeah, the cows are doing okay on it. We didn't see a jump in milk production. They're still milking pretty well. We're gonna keep feeding it a little bit longer and see how it goes. I definitely don't want to be feeding junky stuff to them. So normally January weather would be a little bit colder, a little bit less rainy like it is today. I'm just going to set these inside the barn out of the rain. Should be about ready to dry this cow up now. She's the third cow there on that side. They're just about to put the milker on her. I'm gonna get my stuff ready to go. We got two different vaccines that we give and then I'll get the dry treatment tubes over there. This first cow I'm drying up. She's a really good milker, but she did have some somatic cell issues, this lactate. But we definitely wanna give her the, the antibiotic treatment. Uh, teat sealant, we'll put this in at the end then. Uh, it'll just sit right in the teat, it's like a paste. And it keeps anything from being able to work up into the udder during the dry period. We're really trying to work at using less antibiotics, but there's still a place for them. Sorry it's a little loud in here. We got the vacuum pump creating the vacuum for all the milkers right now. Want to make sure she's fully milked out before we put the treatment into her, which they normally should be, but I always just double check. This is a second lactation cow. She'll be having her third calf in a couple months here. This cow's ready to go. She's milked out. I'll take the alcohol pad around first, clean off the teats, and then we'll go through with the antibiotic.
put the ceiling in there, hit her with the post step, she's done. This is the return lane on the back side of the parlor. Come around this bend and head out to the freestall. So I'm gonna sort that third cow out, number 812. Just run her straight back to that pen I made. It's one thing about our barn, we don't have super handy way to sort out cows when you dry them off. I don't wanna run them into the special needs here. They get mixed up with 25 other cows. So I gotta pen these back and then make that special pen there to keep them out of the pre-fresh pen. Just gotta make it work. That did not work out. I was hoping I could chase her past this open hanging out that way. But of course she busted right through there. There we go. We'll let her chill there. We'll get the other one dried off in a half hour or so and then we can chase them to the dry cow barn. So in between these two cows, I'm gonna go down to the other farm and scrape up for those heifers. If I keep moving, I can get it done before that second cow's ready. If I wanna be a real YouTuber and set up my camera 18 different places, I might not get it done. Put the tire scraper on here. During the summer, all these animals have access to pasture. This time of year, it's not quite as nice. Try to keep it scraped up out here, and then we got bedding in that barn for them. So back at the farm now, that second cow is not quite ready to dry. I'm gonna mark these two dry in the computer. 8, 12, and 9, 0, 8. We use PC Dart to manage our herd, so that keeps track of all the days of milk, age of the animals. We put all of our breedings in here and everything and it tracks it all for us. It's extremely helpful. You have to make sure you're entering stuff in properly and then after that it takes care of the rest. So I'm also gonna enter in here that we gave these two the antibiotic treatment so that once they have their calf, we know we gotta keep their milk out for some extra milkings because we don't want that going in the tank. We got all these different health treatments we can do, but this is tomorrow dry treatment. So here's the list I'm always watching. It's the cows due to dry the next 30 days. So we have two on the 22nd. January and it gives them how much milk they had in the last milk test. We'll get these two next week and then we got four the week after. Sometimes we dry one up early if she's really dropping off in milk production. All these are holding their milk really well so we're gonna keep them in the tank till it says to dry them off. So we can kind of toggle across here. Here's the doing 21 list. A bunch of these already calved uh, down here at the bottom. Uh, we have the, the ones that aren't moved in the pre-fresh pen. Once we put them in the proof fresh, we give them a uh, group number six. I'm always watching this list to see which ones we need to be chasing up to the barn. So her management program is also on this app. So I can also get to these lists on my phone, which is really handy. This is a lot of times what I'll do to see which ones need to be chased up. We have a whole bunch actually now. Just today kicked eight cows due the same day, 21 days from now. Seven cows. Yeah, I don't even know if we have room for all those, but we'll bring the oldest ones up this week, and then beginning of next week, we can bring a couple other ones up. Got the second cow dried up. We'll chase these to the dry cow barn then. I'll have to get Dad to help me. See, they're from two different groups, so they're wrestling around now, trying to figure out who's the dominant cow. Dad's at a meeting right now. He'll help me out then once he gets home. Good day to do some video editing, so I guess I'll go start working on this one. If you have any advice for me, just thinking about insulation for the house. We're gonna quote like a flash and bat, like a closed cell spray foam outside layer, and then some sort of bat insulation on the inside, or else just full fiberglass. Wanna know if any of you have experience with that, if you had positive results. Something I've been doing a little bit of research on. Kinda interested me if we could make the house a little bit more efficient that way. Okay, thanks for watching. See you guys in the next one.